I was finally able to improve my flexibility and ultimately my strength with ankylosing spondylitis when I realized what exercises can I do daily that purely loosen me up, make me feel a little better, but consistently. So what can I do daily to keep moving that's not causing me more pain, more discomfort? And what I realized is it had to be low impact joint friendly. I had to be able to do it multiple times a week, hopefully every day, because my body was so stiff and tight and I was struggling so much. Like many others with close and spondylitis, you're limping around, your hips in pain, your body's so tight. So when you try to do a fitness class, for me, I was trying to do a yoga classes, fitness classes, working with different people, physical therapists, but for me, I had to find things I could do daily. That's why I started doing these movement routines from home, using a wall for support, because again, I was limping around, I needed that support system so I could really concentrate on upright movement breaking up all those tight muscles in the body, but not overdoing it daily because I wanted to keep doing it daily because when you wake up with AS, that tightness can be there. It can be there every morning and you need ways to get moving, to build on consistency. So even these mini routines using a wall, it might not seem like a lot for a lot of people, but for me, this was everything. This is what got me daily consistency supported mobility, really focused on my tightest muscles. And for me, that was the mid back. My posture was definitely affected, so I was rounded forward. So all the things I want to do is lengthen the body. So that's why resistance bands, that strength component is so important. So we want to lengthen, but also get stronger through that upper back. So my routine in the morning, I combine resistance bands, sometimes dumbbells, it can be hard to strength train in the morning when you're feeling tighter. It can be really hard to activate certain muscles. So with the weights, I'd probably go a little lighter, supported strength training. But my main goal was the movement, the mobility. That's what got me there over time. And then in the long run, I was able to strength train because my body was looser. But this became my routine. I've been doing this routine for about a decade now. Because I know after I do this routine, I'll feel better. I won't be too sore. And it's purely going to loosen me up. So I opted for mini movement routines at home. About five to 10 minutes every day. But the movements have to fit you. They have to be modified to you, tailored to you. And this upright movement is what works for me, but some people, maybe a seated routine, maybe a routine on the floor, I mix it up, but for the most part, you'll see me always using the wall, trying to get outside as much as I can, get the fresh air, build on that, build on just being outside, feeling better, getting some things loosened up. But this became the most important thing for me for long-term flexibility. And again, I was then able to strength train because I felt confident, I felt looser, my body was more flexible, my body was long. So find the routine that's best for you. Think about consistency, daily consistency is what got me here. Um, even just a few minutes. This is how we build a closing spondylitis because unfortunately it can keep coming back daily. For me, I was really struggling when I was first diagnosed, limping around, the hip pain, the sciatica. So how can I get movement when I'm feeling so much pain? Um, when those long classes weren't working for me, those long classes still don't work for me. Once I acknowledged that, once I realized there's so many different ways to move, to feel better, to build on powerful movement routines, break it down a couple of minutes is fine. You don't have to go full throttle all the time. That can work for some people, but for most, these mini movement routines, low impact, joint friendly, keep going, find what's best for you.